also start recording this. Um, so when I'm doing a story problem, I'm setting up, up a um, proportion. I just want to make sure that I'm putting the same information on the same part, right? If I'm going in the top part, I either, I either want whatever I'm talking about, like in this case, inches and in, inches and in miles, right? So I'm just going to write myself a little a little reminder fraction over here on the side. So I'm going to do inches over miles. So in both of my fractions, when I'm doing it, that I know my inches are always going to go in the top and my miles are always going to go in the bottom. So it just kind of helps me organize my data so I make sure that it's in the right place. So after that, just putting my information from the quick little sentence that they gave me should be pretty, pretty easy. So I know um, that uh, my scale factor is one inch over 11 miles, right? And then Brisbane are six inches apart on the map, and we want to know how many miles away they are in real life. And that's it. And then I have a fraction that we've been solving, right? So cross, multiply, divide. I get x equals 66 miles. Yep. OK. So that wasn't too bad, right? But it's just the setting up part that takes a little bit longer. OK. So do you guys want to try number two? Because it's very, very similar. So you guys try number two. Did you get 10 feet tall? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. Look. Did you guys get 10 feet tall? You should have. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to a little different. We don't have a ratio um, or a scale factor this time. Uh, this is usually what, you, this is usually what um, they give you in, I'm going to use this in quotes, real life. Um, so a three-foot globe standing next to a statue casts a one-foot shadow. If the statue is um, 18 feet tall, then how tall is its shadow? So this time I'm going to be talking about the object and its shadow. Okay? So whatever the object happens to be, and then... Um, of course, both of them have a shadow. So the object is going to be on the top, and the shadow I'm going to put in the denominator. Would it matter? Could I switch it? Could I put the shadow in the top and the object on the bottom? Sure. It doesn't matter, right? As long as I'm putting them both in the same place. So um, let's see. I have a three-foot tall object. So three over one. Yep. Yep. And then the statue is 18. That's my object. And we want to know how long its um, shadow is. C incorrect. So I get 3x equals 18 divided by 3. x equals 6 feet. Is that right? Is, are you okay with that? Okay. So any questions on that, ladies and gentlemen at home? Okay.
That is a tall woman. What'd you get, Kellen? 36.57. 36.6. It's okay, 57 works also. But it would be actually be 58 if you're going to go to two decimal places. I just went to one because all the numbers in the problem were just one decimal place, so I just chose one decimal place. Are you okay with that? Yep. 36.6. Yep. Okay. Any questions at home? Hi, Zoe. Let me wave at the camera. Okay, so we've got a few more problems to do. Uh, how do you guys feel? How do you feel about it, Kentlin? Feel good? Yeah. Alex, you're doing good, huh? Mm -hmm. any, anybody at home have any questions? Zoe, how do you feel about it? Feel okay? The only thing I just get mixed on, mixed on is with the X. Like I just flipped it over. Okay, we still have a few more, okay? Um, yeah, just so that's why we put down what we're doing, what over what, so we can make sure we put the X in the right place, right? So um, we have object and a shadow again. A lot of these problems, uh, real life problems, we'll talk about shadows. Don't ask me why, because they like to find out how tall trees are. You know, hey, I can't spell shadow, obviously. Um, D O W, shadow. Okay. So a three foot tall baby elephant is standing next to a man three oh a three foot tall baby elephant standing next to a man casts a seven foot shadow. So three over seven. The elephant shot casts a seven foot shadow. Okay. And if the man ca uh, casts a shadow that is 14 feet long, how tall is the man? Yes, X equals six feet tall. And how did I figure that one out? Well, to get from seven to 14, I multiply by two. So I took three times two and got six. Or you could cross multiply and divide, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. Questions? Okay. A giraffe is 18 feet tall and cut. Okay. Object and shadow. Shadow. Uh, a giraffe is 18 feet tall. So my giraffe is 18 feet and casts a 12 foot shadow. Yami casts a shadow of four feet. How tall is Yami? Okay. So what do I do to get from 12 to 4? Um, divide by 3, right? So if I take 18 and I divide by 3, what do I get? 18 divided by 3. Is 18 divided by 3 is 26? Yeah, they do a lot of shadows. So like I used to do when I did this in um, like this stuff before, like um, in algebra and when I was teaching algebra and in, when I taught at Glendale, we'd go outside to the flagpole and you would, you would measure your height and your shadow and then measure the shadow of the flagpole and find out how high the flagpole is. So you, 
Mm -hmm. uh, 2000, I came up here in 2012. So for seven years before that. From 2005 to 2012. So that's, yeah, seven years. Yeah, I started teaching in 2004 at Highland. I think you could have, what's it called, taught my brother in that time. Possibly. So, so, uh, Um, when Texas, when the Texas star Ferris wheel, wow, uh, casts a 20 meter shadow, Preston, who is 1.8 meters tall, casts a 2.4 meter shadow. How tall is the Texas star? So this is how tall is the Ferris wheel, right? So again, we have whatever our ob, oh my lanta, I'm getting worse at spelling, object over my shadow, right? And then Preston is 1.8 meters tall, and he casts a 2.4 um, meter shadow. And my Ferris wheel, we want to know how tall it is, and it casts a 20 meter shadow. Ooh. So 2.4 times x equals 36, I want to say. Is that what 1.8 times 20 is? 1.8 times 20. Ooh, 36. Yes. Divide by 2.4. 15 meters tall. That's pretty tall. That's way in the way too high in the sky. Scary. Very much so. I don't do heights. Because it's scary. Like my clock needs to be changed because it says it's uh, not even 9 o'clock yet. Yeah, it'll stay like that for a while. <laughs> Eventually I'll have Mr. Mr. Platt come in and he'll climb up there and change it for me. Uh, a photograph measuring four inches wide and five inches long is enlarged to make a wall mural. If the mural is 120 inches wide, how long is the mural? So I'm going to say, on this one, I'm going to say y, width, W-I-D, width, and length, because those are the two things we're talking about. So I've got four and five, and it's 120 inches in width. So I want to find out how long it is. So I've got 4x equals 600 divided by 4. x is going to be, I don't know, whatever 600 divided by 4 is. <laughs> Sorry, oh, 150. Uh, 150 inches wide. Okay, is there any questions on this? Can you guys handle it? Okay, so um, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna stop this for.